There's lots of discussion around industrial IoT, but it's important to differentiate between the hype and the reality. And in reality, still, the large majority of companies haven't even begun trialing these technologies. However, even the more advanced companies that have begun introducing these solutions are coming up with challenges. At the proof of concept phase, around half of projects are failing. Generally, you, that would be OK. You're being agile, you're trialing technologies, failing quick, that's fine. But the problem is that when you move then to deployment, there is a similar failure rate. This means that companies are investing money in these projects, but not seeing the payback that they're expecting. Part of that comes from wrong expectations. 80% of companies expect to see payback within two years, whereas reality, some of these projects can take a little bit longer. But there are also six elements that we would really recommend for end users looking to implement these solutions. The first is specify. The old saying, if you aim for nothing, you're going to hit it. You need to know what you want the technology to fix, not introduce a technology and find a problem. The second is, can you measure success? So when you go back to look at the success of a project over a period of time, do you have a benchmark to look at? Also start small, don't try and boil the ocean, start with some pilot projects and proof of concepts to see how the technology can be utilised. It's very important also to have senior level support. This is both in terms of funding for projects, but also in terms of dealing with inertia within different elements of the organisation to ensure a successful project. Bringing convergence between different functional groups is also key. There is often the discussion around IT and OT. Different departments with different attitudes towards handling of data, access to the networks. Getting these teams to work together is really crucial for a project. But ultimately, and what we would say is the single biggest impact in terms of failed projects is the people. How do you get your people involved in the technology? How do you get the technology to a point where they trust the data and find it easier to use? And ultimately, how do they not see this as a threat to their job, but how can they be brought on through training to see the, these technologies augment and upskill them?